What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yiggity yes. Riggity rise. Here with proceed with Carlson Law. And today, I'm going to review. Can I be honest? Stephen Levi. Latmo Records. All right. Latmo be the squid eye. All right. No, that's a flip mode. My bad. Latmo Records. All right. I'm going to talk about this new album. I'm going to talk about stuff I like. Stuff I didn't like. Now, I'm not going to do every song. I don't feel like doing every song. I'm just going to talk. All right? So, boy, Rise is going to talk. I'm going to talk about this album. Now, y'all know my major issues with Latmo. My major issue with Brother STL is the mixing on his albums. Now, is this album the perfectly mixed album? Well, I'm really satisfied. No. But I'm going to give credit what credit is due. It's pretty even all around. I can hear distinctions and, you know, different instruments. It sounds about, it's not some songs is real low and some songs is real high. Like I had problems with the last album. It's pretty even. Now, does the the boom and in the boom bap type of beats boom the way it needs to? No. But overall, I'm not going to complain about the missing. Um, so I'm going to say a good job, uh, considering from the last album. Now, looking at our culture, of course, just looking at the hip-hop culture in general, when it comes to marriage, and you want to look at our culture, Christian hip-hop or whatever you want to call it, of course, the irony of one of our biggest artist, Lecrae, the biggest artist. He had a song, his most popular song ever, because it's played on radio station, is about marriage, right? So we see brother STL address it for, you know, a large portion of the album. I'm not sh sure how many times it's been done. Of course, Braille did it in terms of, you know, when he was facing divorce and stuff, but yeah, this is a little bit different though, All right? A little bit different. Uh, our culture, I think in general, likes to get in people business. You look at the popularity of reality shows, um, your housewives of this, your housewives of that. All that show is about is getting in other folks' business, find out about their relationships, right? And so, on this album, I'm not comparing saying it's the same, but on this album, I did find it interesting that the openness about, you know, his marriage and his thoughts and things of that sort really fits in what the culture likes to do, which is find out what's going on in people's lives. And ST on this album really lets you into his life as as a husband, you know, in some senses, you know, as a father, uh, some of his struggles as well. So, interesting how this album fairly fits within what the culture today um, is interesting in. Um, now, this openness type of album, really nothing new from Lat Mode. If you were to categorize Lat Mode, you know, currently, Yes, they're theological rap, but a lot of them are really into being open about their lives. You look at Jay Sign album, right? Was it Braille, right? Braille, okay. You look at SO albums, real open about his life. Uh, of course, Timothy Brando. You know, they. so this is something, this ain't really nothing new for their label. Um, now, subject matter wise, um, this wasn't just about the happy side of marriage. Um, and the album isn't totally about marriage, but you know that's a major theme in here. I mean, one thing really surprised me on here when he talked about his, you know, his wife having a miscarriage, and I can't remember the exact word, but it was sort of like there was this relief, you know with this miscarriage because it seems like all the stressful stuff that come in their lives. Now, that's a real personal thing to share. Not only that affects how people view him, 
It affects how people view their marriage. Things affects how people view their lives. So that really affects, you know, really, it's really uh, different. And it's not like, you know, his wife is like, oh, you know, like some rappers' wives, you know, they at home or whatever, and you never see them. Like, if you been around, like, STL, you know, his wife is with him, and she's actually his manager. So this is real bold, you know, type of album to reveal these type of things, reveal these type of things about his marriage, as well as, you know, him being an adulterer, all right? Not an adulterer in a sleep with other women, but in terms of adultery as, you know, Jesus defined it as, you know what I'm saying, if you look at a woman lustfully, you already commit adultery with her in the heart, and he's, you know, real open about that. Now, it's not nothing new, but again, you have to look at, this isn't just some wife that's at home that you never see, you know what I'm saying, this is, you know what I'm saying, she can't have for this, you know, his issues are very you know, open about the struggle with pornography and uh, well, keep it clean. Not that I wouldn't, not that I don't say it, but you know how some people are. This is to say self sexual pleasure, all right? You know, in those areas, he's very open. Again, this doesn't just affect, you know, him. This is the way he's viewed as a husband. So, you know what I'm saying? That's very open. Now, of course, not everybody agrees with that. I remember the controversy when Bizzle talked about struggling with masturbation. Oh, I said the word. Oops. Struggling with self, uh, sexual pleasure. Okay. I remember that. And so, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? This is a very brave album. A lot of ways just opening up about your life. And like I said, particularly with a wife that's real public as well. Um, production wise on here, um, you got, you know, official, you got West P, you know, he's worked with these, these dudes before and he did an excellent job in selecting beats from these dudes. I've heard albums, you know, from both of them where I've heard beats and like, you know, this ain't their best stuff, but on this one, I, I definitely give him credit for selecting the beats he selected on here. Um, I'm not familiar with this guy Slums. Anybody know about him or, you know what I'm saying, band, page, or whatever he got, let me know. I'd like to check out some of his beats. Um, we got Swoop on here. I think this is their first time working together. Uh, definitely like, you know, production wise, how he lets the beats ride out um, for, you know what I'm saying, with 30 seconds or a minute or whatever. I definitely like that. Definitely like the, you know what I'm saying, the jazzy feels for a lot of the production on here. I don't know if it's live instruments, but you know what I'm saying, that feel to it was definitely dope. I like how some songs he switches up the beat. So yeah, production on here is very good. Now singers on here. Singers are this is some of the best singers I've heard this year because you number one, you got a variety of different singers. And for the most part, and we're gonna get into you know the negatives, but for the most part these singers can sing, you know what I'm saying? And so they fit the album and they can actually sing. Sometimes you gotta do it, it sounds like a duet of singers, they they harmonize together. The singing on here is pretty good. I, I was very impressed with that. Um, this is some of the best singing I've heard this year. And like I said, particularly with you know, the harmonies of singing, I really like that. Um, Let's get into the negatives. Y'all know I wasn't just going to have no happy review. You go somewhere else, you want some happy reviews, but I don't do that crap. All right. Negative. Melissa T. Y'all know I'm a Melissa T fan. I think she should be signed. She should be on somebody's record label. I would love for her and West Pendleton to do an EP. Something. The sister needs more exposure. But. When she did that fast flow style, it reminded me too much of Shaolin. And I don't like when Shaolin does that style. You, Those of you that listen to Shaolin, you know the style I'm talking about and the part she does that. I just was not feeling her flow on here at all. I still like the song because I believe she did the hook. She did an excellent job. She did the hook. The beat is dope and all that, but psh, nah, she she didn't match. She, she should have signed on here. Like, 
she usually do. Um, another singer, Chris Jackson. I think Chris Jackson got talent. He's actually decent. I can see him actually. He's like a reach record type of singer. That, these, these are the type of singers that they usually get that style. But to me, he just does not fit this track at all. Um, this should have been just straight up dope West P sample style, and that's it. Um, I like when the beat switches and he's not singing on there. I think the brother can sing, but he just does not fit this song, man. Not at all. Uh, Frenemies. I don't know who the singer is on here. Does not fit the song at all. That should have just been a boom bap song. That's it. I did not hear, need to hear the singer. That's not a commercial song. And they try to make a commercial song with the singer. Does not work in my opinion. Um, now in terms of the guest rappers, I like them on here. Um, <clears throat> all of them, not all of them, but I, you know what I'm saying? I like, you um, Jay Givens, I think he matched with him. I think uh, even though I would like to hear more of the speedy rap since, you know, STL do the speedy rap, I like to hear Tragic do more of the speedy rap to match them up. Um, but overall, I, I thought, you know what I'm saying, most of the rappers on here match. Esso, to me, though, what is that, Double Dutch? He did an old school style on here as well. That beat was a nice beat, but the singing... She was dope, but just it didn't just all match all together. Like, if they would have switched some stuff out, this song would have been dope, but I, I can't get into the style. Even STL, style kind of old school on there, man. Um, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? This is definitely the songs on here. I like, I like Smile, uh, Date Night. Uh, Kristen Gray was dope on. Um, now, of course, I can't relate to Honeymoon. I ain't married, but... I just like Kristen Gray singing on there. I like, you know what I'm saying, the whole switch. Suit this a nice, you know what I'm saying, production. Um, yeah, man, overall, this is a good album. Uh, it's not my favorite STL album, but it's a definitely a good album. like the production. Definitely mention stepping up. like this openness, but some of the singing didn't match or was unneeded. Some of the rappers, they could have definitely stepped up. You know, so I like Eshan. I ain't mentioned Eshan. I like Eshan on here as well. You know what I'm saying? He, he held his own. And a new dude. What is the new dude name? Well, he might not be new to you. Be new to me. This guy, uh, Shati or Shati, Shati, whatever. I like him. He kind of reminds me of At Davis in some sense. And I looked up his uh, Reverb Nation. He, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to check this dude out. Hopefully he comes out with a full project if he don't have one already. But I'm looking at this reverb. We got like five or six songs, man. So that's my thoughts. Love to hear yours. See what costs a ball. Kobe sets and I'm out.